planet Earth is a super-living organism. Since the dawn of time, ancient cultures have understood that every living creature has a spirit, a life force which animates the physical body. Just as every living animal has a spirit, so too does planet Earth. Great scientists such as Sir Isaac Newton and Sir Oliver Lodge recognized the existence of a spiritual domain which surrounds the planet. They called this domain the ether. There is a vibrational change going on um, within the Earth's energy field and this is affecting weather patterns. It's like a shift and as it shifts of course uh, weather being a, I mean, you've only got to see a thunderstorm, uh, we, we, you can see that weather is just an obvious expression of energy. So if the Earth's energy field is changing in its vibrational state and making a shift then it's going to affect the weather and um, uh, I think that the projections uh, by the global warming uh, um, proponents of, of how things would change um, are already uh, being shown to be um, uh, inaccurate in, the t in terms of the changes happening much quicker. In recent times, an evil group of people who communicate with the spirits of Baphomets and demons have been destroying the very spirit of planet Earth. This global network of black magicians, Satanists, Luciferians and occultists are called the Illuminati. The corporations controlled by the royal, aristocratic and political elite are spraying chemicals into our skies and using secret atmospheric technology to wage war on the planet itself. And there is no doubt whatsoever, indeed the authorities um, have um, uh, admitted it with patents and what have you, that they have weather changing technology. You know, the old uh, Native American rain dances and all this stuff, um, what were they doing? Uh, they were um, performing rituals, dances, sounds that were resonating the energy field and therefore uh, attempting to uh, bring it into a vibrational state in which it manifests as rain. Uh, now technologically, uh, the elite in the underground projects um, have um, this ability. So uh, and not only uh, in terms of producing uh, weather, but also uh, earthquakes. Um, if you know where on the earth to really give a, uh, a plate a smack, then it's going to move and if it moves you've got an earthquake um, and when you look at these hurricanes and I was told when I had my mind-blowing awakening in 1990 that um, we were gonna see tsunamis to be honest I, at that time I not even heard the word I said what's a tsunami oh it's a tidal wave massive tidal wave well everyone knows the tsunami is now um, and that we were gonna see uh, things like hurricanes on a scale that um, we'd not seen before. Now when you look at um, the hurricane season in America with Katrina um, and the rest, we're looking at uh, phenomenal storms and it seems to be very clear that um, if not uh, having the ability to create 
a hurricane from, from, from scratch, if you like, and I think they have, they certainly have the ability to whip them up into much greater uh, uh, catastrophes than um, they would normally. Many people believe that the recent hurricanes and tsunamis have been induced by the use of underground atomic bombs, creating chaos, destruction, and wantonly killing hundreds of thousands of people. The Illuminati are engineering wars and ecological catastrophes, causing millions of people to die in a state of terror, sending shockwaves through the ether as people's spirits cascade into the spirit world. The Illuminati control most of the world's corporations. They are collectively destroying the biodiversity of planet Earth, hurling mankind into a permanent state of fear disconnecting us from the knowledge of our higher spiritual self. The existence of the spirit world and the fact that reality is shaped by our own consciousness is hidden from the public by control of the world's media. Billions of people are dying in ignorance wasting most of their lives hypnotized by television, an invention which was discovered during pioneering research into the spirit world and the ether. Forests, the very lungs of our planet, are being destroyed. The seas are being overfished. Oil, the very blood of the planet, is being sucked dry. The very air which we breathe is being poisoned. Shamans, druids, Sufis, pagans, sadhus, and sky watchers have all recognized for thousands of years that the spirit of planet Earth is central to mankind's survival. This film is about the spiritual life force which is inside all of us and the ether which surrounds our planet. Now, for the first time on film, we explore the evidence of scientists who have studied the nature of spirit and how our spirits, at the time of death of the physical body, reconnect with the larger spirit of planet Earth.